Good morning, beautiful people. Today is a special day. We're going to edit this stop motion animation. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. As I said before, this is probably not the best way, but this is my way. And this is the way I do it. Um, I imported all the photos into my Lightroom. As you can see, we have let's see 303 photos and uh, we're gonna edit them and put them together to, uh, together let's see uh, first what I'm looking for I'm looking for a photo where we have all the elements in to edit and probably let's see do it here gonna choose this one we're gonna edit this photo um, now that I'm looking at it I see in the right side over here the background has like a crease I don't like that I wish I would have noticed that was I was shooting so we'll have to edit it and try to make the best of it see if we can hide that um, let's see these photos, I took them with my Sony A92 for a lens. I used the kit lens 24 to 105 Sony. Um, shutter speed 1 second, f-stop f8, focal length 73 millimeter. Um, we'll go into the develop module. And uh, let's start editing. First thing I want to do Let's see, what do I want to do first? Um, I'm going to do a basic edit. I'm just going to increase the contrast to maybe plus 18, plus 20, plus 25. We'll go with plus 24. Decrease the highlights just a little bit, negative 20. Increase the shadows? No, leave the shadows where they are. Whites, click on option, move to the right. I don't want to blow out any highlights. We'll leave it at plus 11. Blacks, option, click to the left. Just about there, so I can see a little bit of pure blacks. Texture, move it to 20. Clarity, maybe 13. Vibrance to 25. That looks pretty good. We don't have to mess with the white balance because we did a custom white balance and camera. Um, not gonna mess with the colors too much. Sharpening, I'm gonna click option again, drag to the right so I can mask it. And just about there, I have 79. That looks good. Click on the chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. And that's all our basic edit. Now, I see this pocket over here where it looks like maybe sun is peeking through, and I want to emphasize that and make it a little bit more magical. The way we'll do that, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, just like that, and then I'll take a radial gradient, and I'm going to drag that just like that, maybe that much, and I'm going to increase the exposure. I'm going to increase the warmth um, and then also I'll we'll move the dehaze to the left a little bit to make it more, more realistic. Alright, that is good. Maybe I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going back in there, move it over here. Maybe I'll even turn it a little bit like this and make it a little bit bigger like that. All right, that looks good to me. Um, let's see, we edit this photo, we went from this, which is a little bit not saturated, a little bit boring, and we end up with this. Um, that looks good. Now let's see if we can deal with that edge with the fold. For that, I am going to Use more radial filters. It's one of my favorite tools to use in uh, Lightroom. And I'm going to do one over here. 
for this one I'm gonna take the exposure down but I don't want it to be black like that so I'm gonna use the dehaze pull that to the left and that lifts up the black a little bit and then I will take down the texture and the clarity a little bit and let's see did that what did I do before and after before and after okay that's good there I will add another radial gradient on this side just to darken it just a tiny little bit move the exposure to the left that way it kind of creates a natural vignette and I will add one more we'll put one here at the bottom just like that and just turn the exposure down on this one not too much and maybe one more in this corner I like the the radial gradient so much better than just the linear ones because linear is too uniform so I'm gonna turn this down just like that and now we have like a natural vignette like your eye just goes in the center to the characters and that looks good to me now let's see again we went from this to this that's great now we need to make all the photos look like this I am gonna go to all the photos with this photo selected I'm gonna do command A to select all of them and then sync settings and I'm gonna include the masks in this one so everything will look the same and click synchronize I'm gonna replace and now they should all change and be edited with the same settings as you can see they started to load and everything should be the same and now that we have all 303 photos edited we have to export them and then we'll continue our editing into Premiere Pro. To export this, I want to export them all. Um, I'm going to click off of this. Let's see, let me go back to develop. Okay. So I click the first one and then Command A, click them all. All the file export and oh I should make a make a new album for that I'm gonna go into my desktop and I have a folder called stop motion and in the stop motion I have another folder called edited photos and in that one I am going to make another album and I'm gonna call that Easter since this is like a history kind of stop motion and now in Lightroom when I export I'm gonna send these photos into my specific folder which was on my desktop I'm gonna find that to the stop motion edited photos to Easter so I want all my photos to go there and I want to rename them I'm gonna rename them to custom name sequence and I wanted to start with number one that way they'll all be named from one to three hundred and three and I am going to export and now they were all going to be exported and we go from there